welcome to my channel today i have a homeschooling video for you guys i actually just filmed a different homeschooling video about the same company i'm going to be talking about which is evan moore i love evan moore we have so many of their books in our homeschool and i love them and i thought i would take some time today to talk about their science workbooks and the differences between them and what i think about them because two of the three i have actually used and then the third one is new to us so I thought it'd be a great way to share with you my experience with them so far. So if you are looking for a very affordable open and go science curriculum that is no muss and no fuss, but still really fun and thorough, then you can kind of get an idea of how these books are all different and how they're also similar. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna share with you, the first workbook is the one that we just finished. And um, I think the new, as far as I know, it's the newer, the newer of the three. So this is the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Science. This Skill Sharpeners line in general, there are tons of different categories in this line. You've got science, I think there's math, there is um, grammar, and we, we actually use that in the fifth grade also just to kind of do a refresher course. Um, so it's the same concept, and I've got notes here, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at because I don't always remember the details of every, every single book. So the Skill Sharpeners Science, has a pre-K through sixth grade version. So tons of range there. So you can have even your youngest child using it and your sixth grader using it. It does offer more of an of a grade range than the daily science, which I will share with you in a minute. So if that matters to you and you want a workbook that you can use for longer, then the Skill Sharpeners might be a good choice for you. It's $11. So it is very, very affordable, um, but there is no ebook option. A lot of times Evan Moore will have an ebook option. You can just purchase and print at home, um, but there is no ebook for the Skill Sharpeners line. So one thing I personally like about the Skill Sharpeners line, all of their books, whether it's science or one of their other subjects, is I like the full color pages, especially with science because they have such pretty pictures. There's a rainforest, there's animals, even the graphs and the drawings are also colorized. I personally like that. I personally think it makes it more exciting for the kids, but if you have a child that's easily distracted by color, then maybe for you, the Skill Sharpeners line wouldn't be a good option. But otherwise, I think it's more fun. I think color in anything makes it more fun. So there is full color in the Skill Sharpeners line of books. So of course, you're gonna be focusing on different things in science. So in this particular book, you are working with organisms and ecosystems, earth systems, space systems, and structure and properties of matter. And so then every lesson, your child has some reading. There are vocabulary words here that are in bold. They're also in bold in the reading. So it really helps your child to go back if they can't remember. So it really kind of pulls out the key points. And then they have a couple questions down here. So you have a mix of reading visual literacy. So they're reading charts and different types of graphs and you're working on comprehension all while you're studying science. I really like that about the Skill Sharpeners line. The lessons are very, very short. Like I said, this example here, you've got a couple paragraphs to read and then two sentences. So you could definitely double up if you wanted to. Obviously, you're gonna finish the book sooner, um, but very, very brief, very to the point. And that's one reason why we stopped using what we were using for science and switched to the skill sharpeners. And that's one reason why we're sticking with Evan Moore, at least for the time being, because they are more brief lessons. And I feel like, especially at this age, you do want them to understand science. You want them to understand basic concepts, but I don't want it to take too much time because in my opinion, especially in the early years, I really want to focus and get a really solid foundation in math and reading and writing and grammar and then add more and more science as time goes on. So that's one reason why we stepped back from what we were using and switched to Evan Moore, just because all of these workbooks I'm gonna share with you guys today fit that kind of category. They are thorough, but they're also brief and really just kind of hitting the high points of all, all of these different science concepts. So at the end of each week, you do have a hands-on activity and it's got very detailed instructions and everything you need to do to complete the activity. If you are not the type of person that does not like experiments and hands-on activities, then you probably wouldn't like this book unless you plan on skipping the activities like we did. Another really great thing about the Skill Sharpener Science and Skill Sharpeners in general, it can it's really meant to be a review or a very brief overview of a certain subject. So it's perfect for summertime. So with summertime coming up and your kids are gonna be off school, it's a perfect book to throw in there over the summer because it is very, the lessons are very short, they're very simple, 
but it's keeping your kids engaged, it's keeping their minds going, and that might be a perfect time. If you do have more time in the summer, maybe that's the time that you'd wanna go back and do those experiments and hands-on activities. So, so many great things about the Skill Sharpeners line in general, and then the science in particular, I think it just gives you enough information without giving you too much. So the daily science goes from grades one through six, so unlike the Skill Sharpeners where they do have a pre-K book, one through six is the only grades that you'll find uh, for the daily science. It's all black and white. So if you, like I mentioned earlier about the skill sharpeners, if you don't like the full color, if full color is distracting, distracting to your kids, the daily science workbooks are all black and white. Even the, the graphs here and the maps and different things, everything's black and white. So depending on your preferences and your kid's preference, maybe they don't care, but if they do care, um, just know that this is all black and white, whereas the skill sharpener is all full color. Unlike the skill sharpeners, the daily science books, there's more than one book. Skill sharpeners, you've got one book. There's no teacher's manual. This is your teacher's manual for daily science. It's around $30, and then the student book is um, $8. You don't have to have the student book, but as I've said, with every single Evan Moore book, when there is a student book option, I always try to go ahead and get it because basically, she's got her own book of her student pages the student pages are in this teacher's manual but she's got her own i'm not having to share because when i'm reading the lesson to her and i'm kind of going over the activities for the day she can be looking at the worksheet that we're going to be doing for that day and looking at the vocabulary looking at the pictures if we're sharing this book she can't do that so you can definitely do this on its own and not purchase the student workbook but i think it's nice for her to have her own book to be able to look at the book and I can see exactly what she's looking at in my book and then she's got her own copy of this. So the student workbook is eight and the teacher's manual is around 30. There is an ebook option for this. So unlike the skill sharpeners, there's no ebook option. You can actually purchase the PDF of this if you'd prefer than having the workbook and you can bind it yourself or you can put it in a three ring binder, however you wanna do it but there is an option for that. Are 150 lessons in daily science and six units, whereas the skill sharpeners only has four units, so it's a lot more brief. So in those six units, there are four lessons in each unit that focus on a different topic, life science, earth science, physical science, all of those different topics. There's four weeks of lessons that center around a different science concept, and then on the fifth week, you have a review and a hands-on activity. And a hands -on activity. So. This is week five, so you have a mix of comprehension questions, vocabulary, visual literacy, and then a hands-on activity. So in comparison with the daily science, you're only doing a hands-on activity or experiment every five weeks if you choose to, whereas skill sharpeners, there is a hands-on activity or an experiment every single week. And I really like the reviews too because if you are keeping grades and you wanna kind of get an idea of what your child is learning and retaining, those reviews every fifth week really do help. But one thing that's similar between the daily science and the skill sharpener science is the lessons are short enough that they can do them every single day. So while there is a little bit more reading and usually a little bit more questions than there is in the skill sharpeners, um, it's still brief enough that you're hitting the high points, you're learning those major concepts, and, and you can still do it every single day while not interfering with your other subjects. Like I said, I felt like sometimes our other science curriculum was becoming so cumbersome that it was interfering with subjects that I feel at this age are more important, like those math and reading and, and writing skills. So both the daily science and the skill sharpener science are both definitely doable every single day. So the last thing, and we have never used this one before, but I'm really, I'm really excited and intrigued to use it. And one reason I think it's really neat is because it is it is science, but it's also it also could be used as your reading comprehension curriculum. So this is the Read and Understand Science, grades four through six. They do have grades one through two, two through three, and four through six. It's around $20. There is also an ebook option, or you can purchase the workbook. So this is a much different approach to science concepts. And that's one reason why I like it. And I also think this would be perfect for summertime because basically what you have are 27 science-based reading passages that your child is gonna read all about different science topics. So uh, life science and space and physical science, all of those different science concepts, they're reading about them in kind of a story format. So it doesn't follow a unit-based approach. You're not spending an entire unit talking about, you know, ecosystems. You're not spending an entire unit talking about 
um, the rainforest. You know, it is, it kind of jumps around. So like, just to give you an example, the first story is about the common cold and it talks about um, life science and it goes to physical science, you're talking about gravity, and then it goes to science and technology. So it's just kind of sporadic with what topics it covers, but it's just a variety, which I think is nice. It keeps kids from getting bored, especially if your kids tend to get bored talking about the same concept for days or weeks on end. This is really nice to kind of keep it moving and changing the topics up. Like I said, this could very easily be used for a reading comprehension curriculum that also doubles as science. I wouldn't necessarily say that you would want this to be your only science curriculum. Maybe, I mean, maybe if you're just like wanting to keep it really, really simple um, and you don't want to have any experiments and you really don't want to do any of that stuff. But I definitely think it's a really fun addition. It's also a really great jumping off point if you want to make some unit studies about the different things, you know, read about it here and then get an idea to do a unit study about it. So the younger levels are set up a little bit differently because they're assuming that most children in first and second and even in second and third grade are not gonna be as good at independent reading, but this book that I have, the grades four through six, like I said, they read a story about different science concepts and then they have filling in the correct question, vocabulary, and then they have a third activity page at the end. Usually it's something to do with visual literacy, so they're reading charts or graphs or maps. So this is an amazing addition to any homeschool, whether you're using it as your science curriculum or just a supplement, or like I said, a jumping off point for unit studies. Use it as your reading comprehension curriculum. So you're doing maybe something else for science, but you're gonna use this to add some extra science concepts in while really working on reading comprehension. So reading something and then remembering and understanding what it was about and being able to answer those questions and do those activity pages at the end. So those are the three options that I sh am sharing with you guys today for Evan Moore for Science. They're different in some ways, but like I said, I appreciate the fact that all three of them, no matter which one you end up choosing, are brief enough that you can do them every single day, which I really appreciate because I don't want to breeze over science or skip it completely, but I also don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it right now when I feel like we should be spending the bulk of our time on more important subjects. So all of these are perfect for that. And I hope that I did a good job of explaining to you kind of how they're different, but also how they're similar and maybe helping you make a decision about which one might be the right fit for you. They're all very affordable. You really can't go wrong with Evan Moore. I really hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I will link the three that I have in the description box for you guys. I will also link my homeschooling playlist. It is full of tons of videos about anything you can think of homeschooling related. So curriculum choices, curriculum reviews, homeschool mom life, day in the life videos, tons of videos in that playlist that I think you'll find helpful. So make sure you check it out. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.